What is healing to you? And is there a destination for healing? Can we say one day that we are healed? I think that depends on how you define healing. I do not think that you recover from a loved one's death. I think you come to terms with it, you reconcile your feelings, and you basically work on healing yourself. After my husband died, and after all my other loved ones died in 2007, I figured I had several options. I could sit around and wait to be rescued. Uh, I could sit in a chair and wait for my own death, or I could be proactive and start helping myself, and that is the option I chose. Talk to me about the main intention of writing Grief Doodling. Is this book only for children or we can all use it? Grief Doodling started out as a resource for teens because I heard that a CBS News broadcast reported that about 40,000 children in the United States were grieving for a parent who died of COVID. And that is kind of an old statistic now. But just think about it, 40,000. Yeah. Yeah. And most of them were teens. So I thought, well, I'll, I'll write a book for teens. And because of my early childhood education training, I know that sometimes kids don't have the words yeah. to say what they want to say. True. They don't have the vocabulary, or teenagers may just not want to share. Yeah. But they do express their feelings in pictures. And so all of a sudden, I got to thinking about doodling. Now, I have a master's degree in art education, so for me, that was kind of a logical thing. Yeah. And at that time, my husband was dying, and I had to admit that to myself. I had to say the D word, my husband is dying. And my stress was so great by then. Uh, it was my 23rd year as a, a caregiver. I thought, how can I reduce my stress and one of the things I started doing was doodling. And there are basically two kinds. One kind is your subconscious expressing yourself. And the other kind is called art doodling. You kind of think about what you're doing. So I started doing art doodling for a half hour every day early in the morning. And I found out, much to my amazement, that a half hour was almost like a nap. And when I was finished with that doodle, or maybe I would finish it later, I was refreshed and I could go back to caregiving and taking care of my husband. That led to grief doodling. I figured if it helped me, it could help kids. So I talk about some very easy techniques that you can use. One is just putting dots on paper and other techniques. And when you have them, you can do thousands of doodles. But wait, what makes grief doodling unique is that there are doodling prompts, and these come from decades of research that I have done on grief and from my own extensive grief experience. 